and welcome back to Project 380. As you can see, I've got a slight change of plans, as I'm still waiting for some parts for my car, so I've borrowed a mate's MX-5, as he needs a little favour. He has a split in his roof, so I'm going to be re-skinning it for him. And we're now on our way to a unit which has been lent out to me for a few days, as it's nice and undercover, as the weather isn't great here at the So as you can see, the roof is in pretty poor condition. Torn all the way along the bottom of the window and torn here. So it's completely unsavable. So the plan is, is to remove the whole roof and then re-skin it off the car. And to do that, there's three 12 mil bolts either side down here and a series of 10 mils round the back. So we first want to gain access to the 12 mil bolts down here and to do that we're going to have to first remove the wind deflector if you've got one. If you've got a Mark 2.5 you may well have the Bose wind deflector and that has got a plug in the middle so make sure you disconnect that. But this is a Mark 1, no Bose system in this and it's just a wind deflector. So it's held in with a couple of Phillips screws down here. And then behind the wind deflector is a little panel clip. Now moving slightly forward on the car, if you do have a hard top, you will have the hard top side latches. They're just held on by two Torx bolts. And just moving slightly forward to that, we need to take this plastic end cap off. And on the inside of the car, there is going to be a 10 mil nut if you've got the bobbles for the Tornio cover or a Phillips screw. And then a Phillips screw on top. Then you can just simply lift this out of the way. To fully remove this side plastic, we need to remove the seat belt from the tower. And to do that, we need to remove this plastic cover. Simply put your fingers underneath Try the tabs out and it should pop right off. Behind the seat belt bolt there is a little square bit of plastic which needs to be removed. This allows the plastic to separate and allow the bolt tower to come out. Now we can undo the seat belt bolt itself and when you're doing this take note of how the spacers come out underneath as they will need to go back in the same order. Now to pull off the door strip. And then the plastic is held in with a couple of poppers here. You can simply pry it away from the body. When you get to this stage, you can pop out the seatbelt guide and pull the seatbelt through the access hole. Now with the plastic cover out of the way, you can see the three holes here with the bolts behind it that hold on the main part of the roof. We need to undo these, but we're not going to undo them just yet. Now while the roof is down, it's a good idea to unclip the front of the rain rail, which is a popper clip right in here. And just make sure it's movable. So now we want to fold the roof back up again, but don't latch it at the front as we need the slack in the roof to take it off. Now with the roof up, we need to think about removing the rear carpet. 
And to start off with, we're gonna take off the panel poppers across the front. And then there's one right in the middle at the back and then loads all the way around up the top. Before removing the carpet, if you have got a heated rear screen, make sure you unplug it from the car. Now with the carpet out of the way, you have gained access to three metal support rails that hold the roof to the back of the car. And they are just held on with a load of 10 mil nuts. Once all those nuts are off, you can remove the free metal stays. When you're doing it, just be careful. You're not nicking the plastic behind it because that is the rain rail. So now very carefully, you can pull away the rain rail and the soft top away from the car, being very gentle with the rain rail as it can be quite fragile. Now you can undo the three 12mm bolts that hold in the main frame of the soft top in. Now with a little bit of wiggling, the roof should be completely free. When you're picking it up, just make sure that the rain rail isn't caught on the car. So as you can see, the old roof is on the ground and upside down, and I've gently pulled away the rain rail. The soft top sits right in between the rain rail there. And now onto removing the soft top from the skeleton. I'm gonna start off with all the screws around the front. Now to remove the window seal. The front one has two screws at the front. As long as they're removed, you can simply pull it out, being very careful not to split the rubber. And then underneath that is a few screws. And then gently pry that away. And then on the back windowsill, there's two plastic poppers right down in there. Once they're out, you can just peel the seal away. Once that window seal is away, you'll gain access to a Phillips screw down here, which holds a clip on, which holds the roof skin to the frame. Then you should be able to peel it off it is a little bit sticky at the front. And then the seal rail can be removed. Behind that seal rail is a couple of pop rivets. They just need to be drilled out nice and carefully. And the same at the back, there's two pop rivets that need drilling out. Now this whole side can be peeled away from the frame. Now that's gonna give us access to the guy rope tension and spring. So what I'm gonna do is close the roof up slightly to loosen that guy rope and then take the spring off of the screw. Now it's time to completely remove the skin from the frame. Just peel it off, slowly working your way around. Once that's all ripped off, you're gonna be left with just the bare skeleton. And to replace that old vinyl roof, I've got a nice new mohair one with a plastic rear screen. Now, before you start fitting it, make sure everything is nice and clean. 
any rust is treated. Make sure you inspect your guy ropes for kinks or frays in the cable. And make sure you've got a new rain rail or if you are using the old one, make sure it's really clean. And just a quick side note, you don't actually have to remove the center window sill. It doesn't hold the roof on. So now I'm gonna make sure the floor is all nice and clean. There's no metal shavings from where I drilled the pop rivets out. I'm gonna grab the new roof, lay it down on the floor upside down and place the roof frame on top of it. And basically just work backwards. Since the roof is off, this is going to be the easiest time to clean the drain holes and they are situated right down here. Ah, there's a spoon. That is the drain hole right there and we want to make sure that is nice and free flowing as it can cause rust inside the car. So to do that I've got something called a trombone cleaner. It's got bristles on the end and it's flexible metal. So you could just force this down the hole, out the bottom and flush anything that's stuck in there out. Once that's done, just run a bit of water through it and make sure it's free flowing.
to adjust the roof to the right tightness, you would come to the front latches, pop the plastic locking tab down and adjust with the adjusting screw there until the roof is nice and tight and this part of the roof marries up nice with this part of the roof. So all that's left to do now is to clean the roof and protect it from the elements because it is a brand new roof and we want it to last. So I'm just using a bit of FabSil Universal Protector. So that is the roof fully reskinned from an old cracked vinyl soft top to a nice new mohair one. I would like to say a huge thank you to Car Spa Valet and Vinyl for letting me borrow their bay for the weekend. And if you learned anything from this video or you think I could have done anything better, leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.